one down. Oh my gulai, look at that. Hi guys, welcome back to my wife's channel. Uh, it's been a long time na hindi kami nakapag post and update. Well, a lot of things that happened and well, so far everything is okay naman. Um, when was the last time that I post kami? I think that was March, if I'm not mistaken. March yung last post namin. And you also last post then is my wife, which is Jem. Uh, she was not feeling that good because I forgot exactly what it was. I Google search ko, then post ko dito. Okay. So, yung nangyari sa kanya is yung nagshot off, tama ba? Para nagshot off isang mata niya. Para mawag bagsa, nagiging drooping isang mata niya. And then, meron siya mga muscle pains. Well, fast forward, okay naman na siya. Uh, though, Philippines is still not doing good, if I'm not mistaken. Kasi ngayon is month of August na. Uh, parang binalik yata yung MECQ, something like that, sa Manila. So, I'm still here in Vietnam. Uh nag sa second wave na ang oh, Vietnam as of no. now meron ng 4 or 6 6 yata meron ng 6 fatalities fatalities ang ang Vietnam which is actually isa danang yung 6 fatalities here in Hanoi nasa dalawa positive case yeah medyo nag strict ang Hanoi again uh, KTV bars are closed Karaoke bars are closed Though yung hotel still suffering of course Kasi yung borders locked down pa rin uh, So ano pa bang update? Nawalan ako ng trabaho? Well, hindi naman nawalan May trabaho pa rin ako Pero medyo On and off Yung schedule parang ganun Kasi as you guys know I'm working sa hotel and most of our guests are foreigners so wala kaming masyado pumapasok na guests dahil nga naka, naka close ang border so with that said mahina ang takbo ng occupancy uh, mga guests namin is yung mga more on locals and then yung mga foreigners na na, na base sa Vietnam din so sila lang yung mga pumapasok ngayon yung mga big guests namin like Japanese, Chinese, uh, Koreans, they cannot come in of course because of the lockdown and because of the quarantine. Kaya hindi rin sila makapasok. Uh, so ngayon, this vlog is actually all about uh, doing a cheesecake. No big cheesecake. Natutunan ko yun noong month of May actually Kasi month of May The whole month of May Wala akong trabaho nun Okay Pinagpahinga kami ng isang buwan Tapos I was so bored Then Naisipan ko Pag-aralan ko gumawa ng cheesecake And then since then Parang Four times ko na siya nagagawa And Isishare ko sa inyo kung Paano ka Makakagawa ng cheesecake Na no bake And take note why no bake ang ang ang, ang pilgaralan ko? Kasi nga base ako sa hotel. See, dito pa rin ako sa aking hotel room. Uh, we cannot cook, we cannot bake, of course. And then, natutunan ko siyang gawin. So, enough chit chat, enough jibber jabbers. Ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga ingredients na gagamitin for the no bake cheesecake. All right, let's go. Alright, for the ingredients na makakailangan natin, syempre kailangan natin ng butter. Kailangan natin ng cinnamon extract. And I used to do uh, Oreo cheesecake, but this time 
Ang gagawin ko is blueberry cheesecake. So, ito ang crackers. It's no artificial coloring, wheat, meal, and whatever. Biscuits. Alright, we need the biscuits. And then, syempre, kailangan natin ng granulated sugar. And the most important is some cream cheese. And then, okay, that's the cream cheese. Syempre, I put it in the fridge para malamig. Kasi kailangan siya chilled eh. We need this whipping cream. Okay, I'm using Anchor whipping cream. All right, so let's start. I need 450 ml of whipping cream. Tapos tatapim na rin Okay, tapin natin yung We need a 450 ml of whipping cream. So, like I said, since nasa hotel ako, a base, I don't have actually much of baking equipments. So, paano ko siya i-whip? I'm gonna use my old rice cooker pan. I don't have it anymore kasi sira na yung rice cooker ko. So, I have this one. So, I'm gonna use this one. 250 ml. Measuring cup. Okay. And then, I'm also going to use it, I'm going to whip it using a mixer. Depending hand mixing. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, let's pour in. It says here 250. Mas and recommended actually. Um, chilled yung whipped cream niya. Okay? So, tapos, syempre, mas maganda. Oh, no! Sorry. Mas maganda if you guys have a spatula. Put it here. Okay. Use a spatula para mas scoop out lahat. To use the uh, cutting. All right, let's do this. Slow lang mo na. Ang gasa palakas na palakas. Ngayon. Para marinig nyo muna ako. Ngayon, i-whip nyo to siguro mga 3 to 5 minutes. Basta magkailangan lang mag-double, tapos mag-thicken. Alright? Gawin natin. Two tablespoon of butter. Okay. So, that's good. By the way, lahat nga pala to, yung cream cheese, itong butter, is naka room temperature siya para mas madali. Ang, mal ang chilled lang is yung, what do you call that one? Yung cream cheese itself. Okay. So, for me, two tablespoon, I think, let's make it four pieces. Four pieces of like this, this size. Okay. That goes. Ayun na natin gagamitin tong fork. Ano? Tama. Malambot na siya kasi room temperature na siya, di ba?
Okay? Pagsasamasamayan lang siya ng kanyan. Well, actually po, yan. Tapos, I'm gonna move this from the side. Siyempre, kada kalat, kailangan natin itabi ang kalat. Ganisin niyo kalat. Ayan. And then, I'm using this one in baking pan na yan. And if I'm not mistaken, this is about 7 inches. Kaganda kasi sa kanya, natatanggal siya. There we go. Okay? Natatanggal siya ng ganyan. So, mas pagkakinabit, mas madali siyang tanggalin yung cheesecake. Pero, mas, ang lalagay ko kasi, lalagyan ko siya ng, what do you call this? Baking paper. Okay? So, I'll show you how. One minute. Ayan. Ganyan siya. Okay? So, ngayon, lalagyan natin ito yung pinaka-crust natin. Here. Then, we're going to use the spatula. We're going to use the spatula para i-push siya. Ayan. Push, 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 push. Make sure kapag pinupush nyo siya, ginagawa nyo yung cross is ano, uh, even siya para hindi makapag yung one side tapos yung kabilang side is manipis, mga ganun. Yeah. Just go around it with your spatula. Yeah. Tapos ilalagay natin siya sa freezer. Habang ginagawa natin yung cream cheese. Okay? Since again, sa hotel ako nakatira, I don't have a big fridge. I only have a mini bar. So mini bar fridge. So I'm going to put this lang sa mini bar fridge ko. Ayan. Ganyan siya. Okay. Now, papalamigin mo natin siya, then gagawin natin yung cream cheese. Okay. Open up your cream cheese. Like so. Okay. Ito medyo malambot na to kasi naka room temperature na siya. And again, another Ayan. Put everything here. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng spoon para ma-scoop out lang lahat. Para hindi siya sayang. Ayan. Ayan. And ayan. And then, we're gonna put some sugar yung powdered sugar or confectioner sugar and then yung vanilla. Okay? Okay, so lalagyan natin siya ng vanilla at one fourth teaspoon. Okay? Sug ka dun. Much better if we break natin to. Break natin siya. Ganyan. Kasi if we, what you call this one? If we mixture pa rin naman natin to eh. Lalang, binrelate ko lang siya. Okay. Yan. And then, we're going to put 3 tablespoon of confectioner sugar. Get this one. Scoop, 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 scoop. Then we are going to blend, not blend, mix. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, now 
kukunin na natin yung uh, whipped cream tapos paghahaluin na natin siya there's the whipped cream si firm pa rin siya kasi malamig siya kanina okay uh, move muna natin yan move natin to pagsasarado natin to pagsasamahin lang natin siya okay pero hindi mo muna kagad i-mix uh, better use the spatula first At this time, kung ginagan ginagawa ko is Oreo cheesecake, you can put the crushed Oreo na dito habang minimix mo ganito. Well, since hindi Oreo cheesecake ang ginagawa ko ngayon, I'm going to do uh, blueberry cheesecake. Kaya, ganyan lang muna. Alright, so nahalo na siya, di ba? Then, we're going to mix it using a mixer. Ngayon siya dapat. See, parang super creamy pa rin siya. Super creamy. Diba? Hindi wala siyang liquid. Kahit balik tarin ko siya, hindi siya tumatapon. Diba? Parang ano. What do you call that one? I forgot. Sorry. I remember. Dairy Queen Ice Cream. Di ba pag yung Dairy Queen Ice Cream, sinerve sa'yo, naka-upside down na gano'n. See? Okay. This is okay na. Then, ilalagay na natin to doon sa tray. I'm just gonna clean this up. Tapos, dito transfer na natin. Okay? Okay. So, narinis ko na. Ngayon, the transfer natin to dito sa ating pan. I wanna show you this one. This, how... You would know na hindi ako talaga baker. See, I put a tape around this one. Nalagyan ko nito para madali ko siya makuha later. Pag malamig na siya. Ngayon, I think I can clear off some of the tapes. Clear muna natin. Ayan, okay na. Wala na tapes. So, again, why did I put this baking sheet? Para pag malamig na siya, madis, madali ko siyang tanggalin. Then, buo ko siya makukuha, di ba? Alright. Transfer na natin. Just use your spatula para may transfer lahat. Mas maganda pag may spatula kayo kasi pag spoon, hindi, hindi mo malilinis yung bowl eh. Yung mixing bowl. See? So thick. Wow. So rich. Rich in flavor ah. Hindi rich in money. Ayan. Wow. Amazing. Purihin ang sarili, di ba? Yeah, baby. Okay. Kailangan simot siya. Hindi ka dapat nagtitira. Hindi maganda nagtitira. Spread, spread, spread. Tapos, pagka, ano, para magsiksik siya, tap na lang ng konti. Ayan. Tapa, tapa, tapa. Tapos, mix, mix, mix. Na mix. Um, smoothen out. Smoothen out. And we're just gonna put this one in the fridge for about three to four hours. Para magfirm yung yung cream cheese, chaka yung whipped cream. Magfirm siya. Then I left a space, di ba? Kasi jan, nalagay natin si ibabaw yung 
um, blueberries. So, anong ginagamit kong blueberries? Wait, I'm gonna show you. This is what I'm using. Okay. Smoothie base siya, pero I've tried this one for like three times, four times, and it's so good. Ginag ginagamit ko rin siya for, uh, of course, smoothie, uh, shakes. Yeah, so I've tried this one three times, four times, I think, and it's so good. Kaya ito yung lalagay ko sa cheesecake ko later. Pag lumabig na siya after three to four hours, okay? Till then, papakita ko sa inyo yung finished product. Then, pwede natin taste test. So, tatabi muna natin to put back in the fridge and then put this one in my mini bar fridge. Ay, mini bar fridge ko. Lit, diba? Let's put it inside. There you go. Stay there. Yan lang siya. See kung gano'ng kaliit. Alright, so that is all you need to make a no-bake cheesecake. Five hours later. Alright, now it's time to check for our no-bake cheesecake. Let's open the fridge. Dun, 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 Sound effects. Yeah, baby. Now we're gonna put... Okay. Um, so ito siya. If you can see it's firm. Right? It's not moving. Then... I'm gonna put this one on top and then I'll get back to you guys, right? Alright, I decided to show you how I'm gonna do this. Just pour. Mm, so thick. Oh yeah, baby. Pour, pour, pour. Oops, relax, relax. Yeah, so rich. Get on edge to edge. I think I need some more. Yeah, edge to edge da patcha. Fix ko lang kundala. So, yeah, edge to edge na siya. And then, of course, we're gonna put it back sa fridge para lumamig. Tapos, mag firm naman ng konte itong um, blueberry. Then, we can start eating it. Hmm. Yeah, put back some fridge. Okay. Okay, so I put it back in the fridge. So, siguro mga 30, 45 minutes. Then, we can start tasting our blueberry cheesecake. I'll get back to you again. A few moments later. Okay, now it's the time. We need this. Okay. So, I think sabi ko kanina na bakit ko siya nilagyan ng baking sheet, baking paper, or whatever it's called. Yeah, baby. Ayan po siya. Po siya. Ayan. Ayan siya. Okay. So, try na natin slice. Okay. So, let's just put it in the plate first. Kasi meron din siya sa ilalim. Mukhang nilagay para inga, madali ko siyang makukuha. Madali ko siyang may transfer. Is it moving? Oh yeah, baby, it's moving. Let's put the plate here. And let's transfer. Okay, so now is the moment of shoot. There you go, baby.
cut natin. Ang hirap mag-cut ng isa lang. Never mind. Okay. Let's see. It's good. Dali. Ang hirap ng isang kamay lang ginagamit. Alright. Let's go for this side. Nakaya natin ng konti. You deserve it. Yeah, baby. There you go. So, dito ko na siya lalagay. Kasi I'm using my plate. Isa lang naman plate ko eh. Hmm, where's my fork? Ayan. And there you go. Ta-da! It's time for taste test. Mm, you see that? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Very thick. It's not because of what they say. Love your own creation or love your own. Pero... Masarap po talaga siya. As in. Hmm. So. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's good. Yung, yung cream cheese niya is malasa. Masarap siya. So. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna end this vlog right here. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry again kung matagal kami hindi nakapag-upload. And like I said kanina, if you guys want to know some hacks kung paano gawa ng grilled ham and cheese, quesadillas, steak, while you're staying sa hotel room, or kung naka-studio apartment kayo tapos nagsisimula pa lang kayo, or sa students, pwede yan. Okay? So, Again, I'm gonna f eat my cheesecake. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Until until next time. Thank you very much. See ya.